chain coming into the back into the pattern one two three so we're skipping one two three on your fourth one single into the front complete your three double crochets one chain one two three on the fourth your three double crochets one chain one two three on your fourth so it's always a repeat now and into the corner shell create your three double crochets one chain one two three on your fourth we're going to complete now the corner shell remember when you're attaching the next one you have to into the same space on that shell one chain so pretty much this one chain is preparing for the next flower to be attached to do the single remember one chain three double crochet one chain so you have to remember that you always have to attach from here on like an l shape on both sides here one chain and three double crochets only this side up will stay open until we complete all the flowers and then we'll come around to complete the shells and everything so you take another one again face up the right way and create your three double crochets no chain because we already have a chain back here our single represents our chain so we're doing a single coming into the front of the flower and create the three double crochets into that one chain space in the back and continue to do your attachment of three double crochet into the next one I really love doing this because it's so fast when you have all the granny squares prepared all your flowering it, it's just grabbing them and going so into the last one here and now we're going to build our granny square on the same stitch as we have from the prior um, square one chain coming in where I have that attachment from the other square on the same stitch single I'm going to come back in create my three double crochets remember we're always attaching like an L shape so you can't forget that so we've done our same attachment on the same space okay and now we're going to skip one two three into the fourth one so it's always a repeat now okay create your three one two and three on the fourth one I think I was doing a one chain space here 
And I think I'm not going to do a one chain space because I think it closes up more into the pattern. So it's okay. I have two on there already. I'm not going to take it down, but I'm not going to do the one chain space. It just, you know, as you go, you start noticing these things. So on here, I'm not going to do that one chain space. I'm going to go directly one, two, three, and four. So it doesn't give me too much of a big gap in between the pattern and the granny square. But if you feel that you have to go ahead, okay? You gotta you gotta go with the pattern, not against the pattern, okay? So one, two, three on my fourth. And I'm going to complete my shell. One chain. One, two, three on my fourth. Remembering that the next square you have to connect on the same stitch here. Okay. Now what you can do is you can put a marker to remember or you can just rewind the video. One chain and now complete this side with the three double crochets. One chain. One chain. One chain and three double crochets and get ready to connect with the next square. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So if you find that you're okay with that one chain, then go ahead. You can leave it like that or you do or you don't do that one chain. I think I'm going to go back and do that one chain. See, this is how it is. You you work the pattern. So I want it to be close, but it's giving me like almost a 3D line, and I don't like that. I prefer to have the little gap then. Okay, but anyway, you have the idea how it is. So I'm just going to go back and do my one chain space between them. I don't want to have the pattern pulled. So if you feel like you can get away with it, then then it's good. If you, if not, then, you know, sometimes you create these things and you just have to go with the flow. Okay, so I'm going to do my one chain here. <clears throat> sometimes the pattern demands and sometimes it doesn't, you know. I didn't want it to give it a big gap, but sometimes it just looks weird. One, two, three, and my fourth. So... One chain, one, two, three, and one fourth. I think it will look better. The other one was giving me like a like a three D borderline, and I didn't want that. Thought it would have been cool, but no. Some patterns I can get away, and some I can't. One, two, three, and four. That's why it's always important to look ahead of the video too, because changes can be made. One, two, three. Oops, let me just confirm that. We don't want to jump any of them here. Over jump. One, two, three, and my fourth. And then come back in, complete your shell. So like I said, you could either put markers, one chain space, or rewind the video and go through it again. Okay, so I'm going to complete mine, advance the video to see how many flowers it's going to take. And if we need to increase more on the double crochet, because I have left it open for that, for that reason I didn't cut my thread.
Okay, so I'll meet you at the end once I finish all my flowering. How stunning that looks, right? Okay, everyone, so I had to cut down nine double crochet. So what I did was, uh, remember I said I wasn't going to cut my thread? So I went back a few, and instead of doing two inside, I'll show you better this way, instead of doing two inside of the space here, but as you're doing, you can skip here and there, as long as you skip nine double crochets. Okay, so we have to decrease nine double crochet so I've didn't put one here on top of the double crochet I've only done one in the center another one so you can alternate a bit okay so you have to redo uh, nine double crochets it was too much and I wouldn't have enough to put another flower in and by the way I have 21 flowers so I had to make um, two extra ones which is fine so now we're reaching the end to complete the circle I'm on my last shell so we can connect. So I'm going to connect it on the same one we started, the first one we started. Okay, and then come back in, complete your shell. And then come inside of that one chain space, the very first one we started, the very first square. And then just do your normal. You're just connecting the circle now. You're connecting everything to close that, that circle. Come back in, no chain space. No different than what we were doing, connecting squares. So back in. into the last one here remembering we will only complete this shell when we come around to it okay here we're going to complete our shell already the first one will be the last one that we will complete so you're on the corner and we will complete this shell two chain this time and come in and complete your grannies so this is how we're going to go around to complete the granny two chain this time because we're up top we need that space up top okay so your three double crochets, you're just completing the granny um, all the way through to the very first one we added the granny square onto the pattern. Try to get my thread here. This thing is getting heavy and big, which will be stunning for sure. Okay, so two chain. We're going to complete the other one from the granny square here, the three double crochets. I'm not going to do any chain stitch. I'm just going to come directly here at the corner. You want to grab both, um, both chains there or else it becomes too heavy. And I'm doing a single. So this single equals for the shell here and also for the shell there on the next granny square so you have no chain stitch to do it closes it perfectly chain two and then continue one all the way to the end so i'm going to continue to close mine all the way around and then come back to you on the last one so we can close it together okay so now it's just very simple it's just doing closing up that granny square. I'll just show you one more time here between both squares. So you're going to come right 
there on the edge. You don't want it too loose, it's not going to look pretty. Try that again. Single, and then come right back in to the next square and continue to close it out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And then I'll meet you here when we need to close this one together. Okay. Okay, everyone will reach the end. We're just going to close the last shell. So I'm going to do my three double crochets in that shell. And I'm going to do a half double crochet and I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to close it, maybe. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. And I'm going to close it all together. I'm going to secure that. So pretty much we've closed all of them around okay so on to the next step which is to prepare uh, the um, stitches for the crocodile stitch okay everyone so pretty much cutting my thread off because I'm changing color I wasn't sure which color I was going to do the crocodile stitch but I decided to go with the red just to be different. So I've cut in my thread. Now we're going to prepare the stitch for the crocodile stitch. Okay, so you can pretty much start on any of the squares. I'm going to come inside of that single with a single and two chain. That's my first double crochet. We have to make groups of two double crochets. So another double crochet on the same space. I'm going to try to hide this thread a little bit better so it can be safe. And two chain. Okay. We're going to skip this one here. So this would be one in the center, let's say, of the shell, two, and coming on this middle one here, the third space with two double crochets, two chain. So we're going to skip one, two, right in this one here. You want to go over, you can go ahead. I'm coming right in the stitch and doing two double crochet on that chain, that two chain we did, two chain. I'm going to skip one, two, and I'm coming into the third one on the next chain, creating two double crochets, two chain. We're going to repeat it like this all the way around. So here we have one, remember it's a two chain, one, two, on the third one, three, uh, not three, two double crochet, two chain, skip one, two on the third one, two double crochet, skip one, two on the third one, two double crochet, two chain space. Skip one, two on the third one, two double crochet, chain two. Skip one, two, and you're right in the shell. Actually, I'm going to do it. <clears throat> I'm not going to go in the shell. I'm going to go right in that single we did there. So it can be right in the center between both both squares. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups. So 
It will always be nine groups, but you have to remember this already is count, even though it's counting nine groups here, it's already counting as one group going into the next. So you have eight groups more to build. Now, either you could rewind the video or just follow by that first granny you did. Okay, so two chain again. And if you look at it, so we have it on the middle to have a crochet. If you don't want to keep counting, you can just look and do it. Two chain. Again, you look and you know it's going on that chain right here. Or you can do your count as you wish. So two double crochet, two chain into the first chain there. One, two. So we're going to repeat that all the way around the same way. Okay. I'm going to do mine and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing the last one. Closed in with a slip stitch on my first. Now it's best that we cut the thread and start fresh because it will be hard to get it going from here. So instead of going through a hard time with it, better just to restart it. So I'm just going to tuck in this thread because then the next row will cover it. So I'm just going in the middle of these loops here. Just long enough. We don't want nothing to be coming apart. I'm going to do a knot here on this one and then go through just a couple more. God forbid this thing comes apart after all that hard work and that beauty, right? Okay, so we're good to go. Now we're going to start the crocodile stitch. really bad weather here for the past two days now on the island very windy very rain so I'm just gonna do my slip stitch a little bit higher up so we don't get too much to the edge okay now you're gonna come in the middle here of the two double crochets you can start anywhere and do a single okay now we're going to work on this double crochet. We have to work on here and then on the next one. Okay, so you're going to turn your pattern. This is the, I guess, the little bit more work on the whole pattern is this part of the crocodile stitch. We're going to do five double crochet, I'm trying to hide that little thread there under all of these double crochets. So I have one double crochet. Two, three, four, and five. We're going to work on this one coming down now. So easy to just turn your pattern. Much easier to work on this side, right? One. Two, we're going to do five on this side also. Three, four, and five. So you have your first crocodile stitch. I'm going to come right inside of the next one. And do a single. And then again, work on this double crochet on this side. So turn your pattern a bit, bend it, and get it going through there. I find it's always harder on this side, especially that I'm a right-handed, not left-handed. So this is perfect for the left-handed people. This side, of course, Nick, the other side, I guess it's hard for them. Four. And five double crochet. Again, coming on this one. One. two, three, four, and five. 
So I have my second crocodile stitch coming on the next group in the center between them and single. We're going to repeat this the same way all the way around. So I'll continue mine and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I've come to the last one. Remember, we started with that single. So I'm just going to come in and slip stitch. Another good trick for you is you have to remember to see if you're on the right track, that you didn't miss anything because it can happen. Sometimes you can skip a group of these back here and it's going to change the whole thing. So where we have uh, the connection of both grannies, there's always a shell. Okay, always a shell. So if you come into the connection of the grannies and you have to do a single, then you know something's wrong. You better go through it, see what you've missed out. Okay, so I'm coming into, um, so right behind it, we have those two double crochets, right, group. So I'm just going to come in, stretch my thread there a bit. And I'm going to do one, two, and three. We're going to build again these groups. So double crochet over double crochet. In the center here, we have those two double crochets also that we did the shell. So you would just come in the center. Oops, you have to do your two chains, sorry. So this is building like the second row again, preparation for the next crocodile stitch. Okay, so two groups here. Two in the center, we're basically doing where we've done the groups before. So one on top of the other. Two chain space, and again, behind the crocodile stitch, we have those two double crochets. I'm just coming in the center and putting them both in the same stitch. It's not like we have the two, um, oof, it's so rough when it's tight. Uh, of course, I have a tight stitch. Okay, and that's what we're going to do for this row, preparing for the second row of the crocodile stitch. So here on our single, we have those two double crochets. So we're just doing double crochet over double crochet. Now, on the next row that we're going to do the crocodile stitch, your crocodile stitch will be in the space where it's empty, where we have that single. So we'll be here. And where we have the crocodile stitch, we'll have the single in there. So we're going to alternate. Now, I'm most definitely going to do three rows of these. So it's just going to be a repeat. So the next row is the crocodile stitch. We have to do it in here and then single and then crocodile stitch and then single. But I'll meet you there just to make sure you don't lose track of it. Okay. And then, of course, the next row you would have to, if you're doing three rows of the crocodile stitch, you will have to do exactly the same thing as what we're doing now. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I pretty much finished doing the groups. So if you're doing the three rows of the crocodile stitch, then after we complete this row now that we're going to do with the crocodile stitch, you will have to repeat these again the same way to do the third crocodile stitch row okay so um we've closed in with slip stitch now i'm just gonna go directly just gonna come here to the next one because i don't want to cut my thread so i'm just gonna go directly into this one and i'll complete it on my way back so i don't have to cut my thread. So I'm going to do the five double crochets. Because we're right in the curve. Okay, this is where we have to do the shell. That's why we can get away without cutting the thread. If we had to start from the single, then we'd have to cut the thread. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. I'll complete it on this one when I come back around to it. So I'm coming in the next one, no different than what we did, coming in from the bottom, in between, and doing our single, okay? And then you just continue on 
doing your crocodile stitch, which is the five double crochet. So very simple. It is time consuming and there's a lot of work to it, but you'll be very happy and proud of yourself once you've completed because it is a beautiful piece. Mind to tell you that this is huge. Um, so it also is perfect for a small table cover, um, a tablecloth, you know, uh, for those small corner tables with a nice underneath uh, tablecloth lace or silk or something like that. You must have seen a lot of times I when I do it, I have my own little table with little uh, tablecloth, a silk little tablecloth and put these type of things over it or just one big piece for the table. Okay, I know and some will, can be used as small little rug areas underneath small little coffee tables, especially if you have glass coffee tables. This is perfect, just stunning. An area where people are not, obviously when there's a small little coffee table on top of it, uh, you know, it's not like there's too much traffic going through there or by the window or something like that. It just looks stunning, that's all I have to say. Especially it stands out if you have glass coffee table. A nice round one or a square one, like I have a square one. So the top is, is glass, but the bottom's not, so unfortunately. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's just five double crochet, exactly how we did with the first row of the crocodile stitch just have to remember to do your single where we have the crocodile stitch which is right here so you have to go in between and then do your single there okay so this is how it's supposed to look like so we're reversing now now the next row you'll be doing it where again it's going to be facing with this one right because it's where the curve is don't forget you have to do your groups of two and of course you do it inside of this uh, chain here behind a crocodile stitch and I'll complete this one when I come back around to it okay so I'll meet you at the end of my three rows of crocodile so we can continue to finalize the pattern Okay. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing all the crocodile stitch. I'm coming in with my beige again. And where we have that empty space, normally we would have done a um, crocodile stitch here. Now we're going to almost close up the pattern, obviously. So we're going to do a few rows. Um, so here I'm going to do a single and my two chain for double crochet. We're going to build shells of three double crochet here. So another double crochet and another double crochet. Chain two. And again, we're going to do three double crochets. I'm going to come directly behind that crocodile stitch and do a double crochet. And again, into the two uh, double crochet group we have here, shell. So that's all we have to do for this row. So it's almost the same as the ending of the last pattern, but I'm going to change the edging a bit so it can be different. Even though the whole thing is different already, but still make it even more prettier. Okay, so shell inside of the two groups, we have the two groups of double crochet here on the empty space, the curve, and then right behind the crocodile stitch, we do a double crochet. I'm gonna continue mine and I'll meet you at the end. We're gonna do a few rows of these uh, shells, but I'm gonna do front post double crochet here okay and then like I said the last rows or so will be different than the last pattern of course 
Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so I finished doing the row. Just closed in with slip stitch. I'm going to do the walk. I call it the walk with slip stitch to the center of the shell and create shell again. So shell over shell, single to chain, and my two other double crochet. Chain two and three more double crochets. So we're just repeating the shells. I don't know yet how many rows I'm going to do, probably three or four, before I finalize the last row. Here where we have the double crochet, we're doing front post. So very simple. And back in again with shell over shell. So nothing to it. You could always advance the video and see how many rows I'll do. There's no point of repeating the next row. It will be exactly the same thing. It will be repeatedly what I'm doing now. So you can advance the video and then I'll let you know how many rows I have done. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end once I complete maybe four rows of these three or four. I'm not sure yet, okay? Okay, everyone. So... I have three rows of these shells. I'm going to do the last two rows. So I'm doing the before last row in the same color in the last row I'll do with red. So I'm going to trying to make this different. So in order to be different, okay, I'm going to go into the next one. Let's see if I like this. If I don't, then I'll change it again. So I'm going into the next double crochet, single, two chain. That's my first double crochet in the next space. Double crochet inside of the chain here. So do four. Double crochet. Double crochet. Double crochet, I think. No, I'm fine. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. on top of the double crochet. So we're doing three inside of the two chain space. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let me see if I like this. And then doing the front post. Again, skipping that first double crochet, going in double crochet. Second double crochet, three inside of the two chain space. So we have four, five, six, and seven. Doing that front post again. Okay, so we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. And then I'm cutting my thread after this and coming in to finalize with the red. Okay, everyone, so I'm going into the last row with my red. Slip stitch. Leave a bit of string so you can tuck in as you go. Okay, so. I'm gonna come from the back to the front, to the back. I'm gonna do my single, maybe. If I can get a hold of my thread here. So single, and I'm gonna do two chain for my um, double crochet. Now, again, you're gonna come from behind and into the back to double crochet again three double crochet on my fourth one I'm going to do one two three four chain you can close in this peacock here or you can come behind that double crochet and close it in like that. 
again from behind to the front to the back so or I should say from behind to the front and into the back and the last one here like that okay I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna do a single front post and again coming from behind to the front to the back and again so this is how I'm going to pursue this last row I mean if you want you can do just singles it's up to you I think this gives it an extra punch to the pattern one two three four and I'm just coming right in that sideways there on the uh, double crochet and again it's going to give a nice effect to the pattern brings everything all together gives it such charm this is perfect for Christmas Thanksgiving all year long uh, if you wanted to be more Christmassy, then you would have done the green here and, you know, we'd have just Christmas time because I don't see it going into, I mean, you could, whoever likes it. Uh, so my front post single and then continue on. So again, just one more time. Okay. So you know that it's on this middle double crochet. We have three in the center, the middle one. One, two, three, four. Like I said, you don't have to do this. You can do just singles all the way around or just double crochet all the way or half double crochet. I mean, there's so many ways to finish up a pattern, right? So this pretty much wraps up for for this tutorial i will have the little video at the end and the pictures of course and the measurements and um, i hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful creation i thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you for your love and support if you haven't subscribed please help the channel by subscribing it's free and it helps us to grow bigger and bigger and spread the love around the world and please spread the love too by giving those thumbs up it's extremely important we can't survive without you and for those reasons we ask you to do it and thank you and i hug you and i love you and prayers for everyone that needs i think the whole world needs prayers at this point uh healing in every sense of the word god bless you uh, I send you much hugs, and until the next tutorial, thank you so much, everybody. Oh, I just wanted to mention, don't forget, this could be a centerpiece, a little rug, or a top of a corner table or night tables. It's just gorgeous, especially if you have, like, if you want it as a rug, the um, glass, either round or a little square glass uh, table, and have this underneath. It's just stunning with nice uh, crystal vase or glass vase with some fake roses, you know. Um, imagine that on top of it. It's just beautiful. Anyway, thank you so much, everybody. Until next time, bye-bye.